Hi folks, today we are going to review type hints and how it can help us write efficient softwares. The very first thing that might be coming to your brain is Python is not a strongly typed language. So why should I even care about type hints? I'm going to put three reasons to prove my point. The very first thing is that it helps IDs help us. The second reason is that if you are working in any organization that is working super fast, rolling up features in a week or two, you might find yourself in a position where you are dealing with nested functions, multiple layers of functions. What are the arguments that are being passed to that those functions? Those are completely unknown. It makes debugging a nightmare. The final reason is that there are some static type checkers available in the community that helps us find the bugs pretty much quickly even before they enter the production environment. Enough talk. Let's see some code. Type hinting is basically annotating your variable with the data type that it is going to hold. This will help ID understand what is the data type, what are the methods that ID should suggest to us. So since I have annotated it with integer, ID is suggesting me methods available for integers. If I do it a string, I will have methods available for strings. This is how IDs will be able to help us. The second reason is that if there is some new developer that has joined our team, then type hinting is definitely going to help them a lot. Let me quickly give an example. Let's say I'm passing this. I'm calling this function called get total and I'm passing two comma four. That's because I know that price one and price two needs to be an integer. Had they been not typed hint, only I will know that yes, they need an integer. No other developer would have a complete idea whether it requires a floating point value or a decimal value, integer value or a string. Let's say for some reason, the new developer passes two comma 19 to it. Now these two being string, what do you think what would be the output of this program? It's going to be 290. Why? Because the plus operator between two strings works as a concatenation operator. In order to make it much more meaningful, I am going to type annotate it with integer. Now it would be much more clear and the new developers would be able to understand it. They would be passing expectedly. They would be passing the right data types. This should fix the problem, right? Right? No. Again, the Python interpreter completely ignores these data types, these type hints, the way Akras ignores us. However, there are some tools available in the community that are going to help us. Let me quickly show you a static type checker called MyPy. This will be able to identify the problems in the development phase only. I have MyPy installed. I'm going to quickly call it MyPy space file name. See, it provides me with three problems three problems that it has been able to identify. Very first thing is in, incompatible type in assignment. Definitely, I am assigning a integer value, but the type in says string. Second problem is that argument one to get total has incompatible type string. The same problem again. Yes, definitely. The I am passing a string. However, the argument says that ideally it should get an integer. This is how we are able to find out bugs quickly fix them in the development phase only. Let's meet you in the next tutorial.